All right, we are now in the BMW i3s and uh, I'm going to show you guys the headlights. So uh, this has been requested by uh, some people. Um, supposedly the, the old version, the 94 amp hour and the 60 amp hour one uh, has uh, this halogen. Well, not actually, not halogen. Uh, it has a xenon lights, which are not supposed to be that great. So I don't remember how they were, but um, this one has full LED headlights and adaptive headlights. So there's some uh, what they call adaptive. So I'm going to show you what I like. It's adaptive-ish, uh, so here, if you press this button, you get this automatic thing there, all right, let's leave it on automatic, well, actually leave it on the manual for now, let's go. Okay, so I have this stretch here uh, from Hellerud Schlepta to uh, Nittedal, which has some uh, some dark areas we can test it on. Uh, less traffic also. So I drive with sport mode, yes, yes, the i3s needs to be driven in sport mode. Bam! Oh, oh, slippery. I just hammered it and almost nothing happened. There, see? Is it slippery here? Maybe? Nah. Just probably too much torque. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's this slow stretch here we have to pass uh, with some farms and stuff. So let's pass here, okay. So now I have low beam. Okay, let's try high beam and well let's have it on automatic then so we put it on oh wait, that's cruise control wrong button wrong button um put this one on automatic and then high beam yeah i go there you go uh wow it's super bright seriously let me switch off here okay that's that's low beam high beam Ooh. okay let's let's drive the car like we stole it okay <laughs> it's not my car okay Bam! Oof, okay, it, it just struggles to get enough traction right now. It's, I guess the road is slightly damped. Could be some moisture here. Ooh, 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 but the light. Light seems very bright. Okay, uh, what about oncoming traffic? What did they do with that one? Uh, hmm, I tried it before. I did one run before I started recording. And, uh, ooh, but that light. Uh, it, it has a uh, LED matrix. Maybe not that many elements, but they can switch on and off some elements. But then uh, on the previous run, some car blinked at me because uh, apparently I, I lighted up right in his face. Um, so here you see high beam on, okay, low beam, high beam, low beam. Okay, car is coming. Let's try high beam and then run right at the car. What's going to happen? Did it switch it off? Nothing? Shit, it didn't. Uh, oops! Wait a minute. I forgot to turn on automatic. <laughs> I'm a noob. Okay, let's try again. Yeah. So automatic has to be on. Okay, that was manual. Yeah, I fail. I fail as a BMW driver. Look, look. Boom! Wow, it is bright. I mean, the video will just. Uh, sh I mean, you just look at the video and you can judge. Uh, my impression is that these lights are bright like uh, get the impression even brighter than my car my model x wow wow and you know it's like i mean i should try to run it to a wall like not to, into the wall but just against the wall and turn on the lights so you see better but uh, like the high section you know the high part of the high beam is see, like seems to be brighter than the low beam you see you kind of see an edge there i've never seen it before in any other car oh wow yeah you see the low beam is like kind of low and then it just switches on more elements this one bam there comes the car did it turn down that one no it's oh oh i know as it did every time i switch like on and off here of course it will it will default back to uh, manual so what i have to do is do this i mean okay i mean i can do this automatic and then switch it no wait it's it's on ah yeah of course you have to just press the button and then it's on automatic and now it will switch on and off yeah it's, i use that on and off toggle just to see uh, how it looked like or i mean what it looks like yeah i know you guys hate it oh it's, it, it's not how it looks like it's what it looks like i'm like yes i know i'm a noob 
I will try to remember it, right? Let's make it a deal, right? If you guys don't mix up kilowatt and kilowatt hours, then I will stop saying how it looks like. <laughs> how about that? Yes, yes. Okay, um, now we just need some cars, some, on, on, some oncoming cars so we can uh, see uh, what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, now we can hammer it. Woo! Woo! Now you see now the, ooh, the headlights comes on. Oh yeah, it switches off. High beam. There. Hmm. Were there supposed to be several elements? Uh, maybe, maybe uh, I didn't see it. I mean, okay, let's go. Woo! 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 -hoo! Oh, this car is fast. Okay, let's 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 try to um, let's regen, 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 regen. Let's do a hammer test. Okay, from standstill. Here we can do it in Norway. Oh, what? what? Ah, ah, of course, at low speed, it switches off uh, high beam. Okay, so we are like parked now. Let's hammer it. Boom! Ah, there's a delay, you know, this artificial delay. And then the power comes gradually. So I'm um, not too fond of that. Uh, they probably do it to, uh, to like uh, prevent the drivetrain from getting eaten up from instant torque but wow that oof, that high beam okay it's tesla beyond approved the high beam is awesome it kicks ass for the lord yes i'm not sure what else i should say about it i like it i like it it's bright it's wide it also lights up like tall um i recently tested the, the headlights in uh, um, kona and my impression of Kona headlight is that it doesn't light up high enough. Now, most of the time it doesn't matter, right? Well, except for when you drive like this, you know, when you do go point downwards, you want to light up upwards enough. Otherwise, you won't see what is coming up there. So I guess it depends where you live and all that. Okay, let's see now. Car is coming. Will it switch off the lights? Uh, yes, it did. Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. Oh yeah, okay, let's hammer it. <laughs> Woo! Let's not crash the car, huh? <clears throat> okay, brake. Ah, but this car is fun to drive. It's a rear wheel drive, 184 horsepower, 270 newton meter torque. Oh, there you go. Now we switch off parts of the light matrix. Yeah, so it seems like it doesn't have as many elements as, for instance, uh, the eye pace. Uh, but still, you know they call it adaptive headlights so yeah all right uh, i think that's it uh the headlight test uh, 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 of the i3s 120 amp hour uh, or the 42.2 kilowatt hour yeah or let's let's count in in mega joules instead then they get a higher number or even better we can we can count the battery capacity in uh, kilo calories yeah let's see what car manufacturer is the first one to to measure it in kilo calories <laughs> yeah. okay and then boom let's hammer it yeah it's like it's like huh fossil you wanna you wanna mess with me huh you me you me you me huh huh boom oh yes Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Let's try not to crash the car, huh? It's a branch banking new car. Okay, it's doing all kind of voodoo shit now. Okay, let's switch it off. We are getting to civilization, so we better switch off the light. Wait, let me switch off the head. There we go. Adapt the headlights is off. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 park over here. Uh, where is it? There was a place I could stop. Hey, over here, yeah. Yes, okay, but anyway, uh, so that was it. Uh, a little rambling video from me. So, um, this is my I guess the last video from the i3s yeah all right thank you guys for watching and talk to you later